All right. Another round. Okay, so one more. Keep them coming. You keep talking. Keep them coming, barkeep. I accidentally drank tiki on that one. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so as was mentioned before, we are in the post game of Dragon's Crown. We're not going to be covering too much here. Um, like we said, it's just basically the same game, but with harder difficulties. Yeah, they've. Amped up the difficulty in all the dungeons. You the dungeons pause are. It, on your screen. it says difficulty hard mode. Yep. But um, the dungeons are the same layout, the same progression through them. They've like maybe moved some of the enemies around, made some of the enemies a little bit harder. Some of the bosses are a little bit harder, but it's effectively the same game, only harder. Yes, but there are many changes. Let's yeah. see the temple first real they quick. expect you to be higher what level for a lot of the thing the lowest level dungeon is level 40 yeah well the, the boss high, is yeah the highest level one is 60 yeah so we're 35 um we could probably take the like the easiest dungeon if we really wanted to but really there's a lot of grinding involved and it's pretty much the same thing we've seen if you remember already. last time we actually resurrected one of the goddesses so what does that mean it means we get more prayers now. Hey. In fact, we get a prayer that adds two life points to us, so that means we'd have four lives, which is effectively like five lives through a run through. Yeah. We get modestly increase in money during uh, re uh, during results, so that means we get more money from it. I like how that's the cheapest of the new prayers. Yeah, it's weird how <laughs> that is. <laughs> I, th I think there's some weird point to that. Um... Uh, Explorer's Boon, which modestly increases round score, which means we get more experience. Alfana's Blessing, which gives us extra spoils from chests on occasion. And the ability to change uh, hard, uh, from normal to hard mode yeah, back and this forth. Is, this here is where you actually have to do it. Um, if you want to go back to normal mode, run through the normal mode dungeons at their levels and the like, this is where you would do it. Now, of note... What this does is it not, does not cap you back to 35. It caps you back to an effective 35. Yeah, it's like your equipment and your level is technically 35 through the game data, but you are whatever level you are. Yeah, and if you look at your stats, it'll still show you as being 36, 37, 38, whatever, and you still have on your higher level gear, but it'll cap your effectiveness down to that of a level 35 character. Uh, we're not going to mess with any of that right now. Let me do something um, real quick. I forgot that. In fact, there is not too much for us to show off this time around. Since, as I'm, as mentioned before, everything is pretty much the same from here on out. Um, as much as we would really like to keep playing the game and keep showing stuff off, we're not going to just make the same video another, like, 50 times. There's not really too much new for sale in here. We may want to uh, fix our crap. Yeah, she pretty much has the same stuff. Yeah. I figure she'll get new things eventually, but... Neesh. I'm gonna go fix my crap, too. And after that, we're off to Lucane's. Welcome to my shop. What would you... One of them buttons. I hit square because, like, square is the fix-all button in here. <laughs> it's like, no, why aren't you fixing my stuff? We're both dying, by the way. <laughs> I just sound like I'm dying more. Yeah, I'm dying less quickly now than I was Lucane before. seems ecstatic to see you again. The two of you laugh heartily, and you relate <laughs> what the goddess Althena told you. Lucane muses that you must have been born under interesting stars. No one has spoken to the goddesses since King Elysia. Whoever that is. <laughs> My I'm pretty sure he's the dude from the story that we haven't been paying as much attention to as we probably should. Well, he was been. the first king that established yeah. this and had the dragon's crown. Mm. Remember? Also, my first star, uh, my the interesting star I was born under was that eighth one that appears right next to the Big Dipper. I hope that's not a bad <laughs> one. The two of you talk at length. Lucane fires off questions and proposes hypotheses. By the time he is finished, it is dawn. Hypothesis, hypothesize. He's excited and it's great. Well, it's like we've beaten a myth, we revived a goddess. I'm pretty sure he'd have many questions. I just imagine this like old this old oh, old you? guy, really wise guy, just Which going one? like, Oh man, and then did the, the, this happen and what about this? And maybe this could have happened, and maybe this was why it happened. 
It's just great, and I like about, to see somebody excited. How about you, Chet? Because you're the one who has the rune since you're first player. I don't know if he goes Ooh, to the same speed. Which one? Uh, narration voice, dude! You'll now be able to choose Elf for the narration voice in the option menu. Man, that is expensive! That's a million, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Dude, though! Oh, that means I could, if I was first player, I could change it over to night narration. That'd be cool, and, and I have... really want to do it, but I don't have anywhere near a million gold. You could have Frankie narrate the whole thing. Man, I wish we had a... We gotta keep playing this game. We need a million coins. <laughs> I just really want that seven to be a five. And nothing in here other than just that. Now go back to buy... Oh. Or you go back to your menu. How was everything? Or just, like, pause it. What, this menu? I want that seven to be a five so desperately. <laughs> Do we have anything we can spend for 20 gold? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Let's... so not the Adventurer's Guild yet. Let's first stop by the castle. Damn it. Brandy here's 20. Damn it, it still goes back to You've her. You've gone to Queen Vivian and asked so... if there is anything you can assist her with. There are still some problems in the region. <laughs> Not for long. Now this is actually... Hey, a different place this time. Uh, this is actually something she'll do. Is She'll just say like, Hey, if you go to Wallace's underground labyrinth, you'll help us out. And I imagine once you do that, you can go back to her and she'll send you somebody else. Send you somewhere else. Is that else. a new background? I don't remember the moon being there before. Hmm. But uh, I imagine once you do it once, she'll, like, go back and send you to a different place. And you probably get a bonus reward or something. So probably. just kind of a neat little thing that's going on. Um, we're not high enough level to beat Wallace in her lap. have broken so. out along much of the nation's borders. If you could quell them, she would feel very relieved. And we would love to help, but we are not the level to do that yet. So we'll be getting back to that another now time. Now the Where not not really all that much has changed, other than do I have any skill points? No. Other than actually, let me just take a quick look in just to make absolutely sure there's not like some fancy new hey you saved the world skill or something. Allows you to cast instant death on all enemies. Oh. Well then. Okay, yeah, nothing new. Only works once per save fire. There is a whole lot new quests! Twelve, in fact. If yeah. I remember your number count. I'm pretty sure it was twelve. Um, defeat the harpy without destroying the nest. There's actually a nest below her that we just kind of always wrecked immediately. <laughs> I think we'll figure out some way to do that. Yeah. Uh, Doom Beetles. Defeat the Minotaurs within two minutes. Didn't we already do that Save one? Save the girls and protect them from the vampires. <clears throat> Magic lamp to call the genie three times. Destroy the enemy golem without activating ruins. Oh boy! <laughs> that sounds wonderful. You can do it. It's just uh, there's a number of like, hey, beat the boss with that. Beat the boss alone. Beat the boss alone. Defeat ten gladiators. Which I think are like the big knights. Yeah, they're the big ones. Yeah. They're not the small ones. Uh, defeat the boss alone. And this one's adorable because Tiki's learned enough human language to request something of you, and she wants you to go save, like, other fairies. See, that's adorable, too, but at the same time, I love the fact it's called a Midsummer's Day's Request, and the re reward you get for it is a midnight, is Midsummer's, Midsummer's Night's, Night's Dream, which is a reference to the Shakespeare play of Midsummer's Night's Dream, which stars Oberon Titania, the king and queen of the fairies. So it makes perfect sense that a fairy is asking you to do rescue the fairies. And I like that this one... It's, it's also cheeky. where the name Puck comes from, the mm. trickster yeah. uh, fairy. You know, the one from uh, Berserk. Um, also, I like that this is Tiki, and it's like, Tiki doesn't have any money. She can't reward you or anything, but she, like, she produces some coins and asks if you can help, and you get, like, two gold. For and that's it's a door. You get three skill points, so that's like freaking heck yeah, fairy magic. But like two, you actually just get two gold, and that's adorable. Which is funny too, because I think we freed enough to count for that. But Probably. that was an easy mode. Yeah, I don't know if it carries over. Not easy mode, normal mode. Okay, so a couple new thing, a couple other things that have been added in this mode. Here's twenty gold. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that was completely unintentional, but it worked somehow. Uh, Coliseum, uh, right Coliseum. here. You can battle other players here. By using the network, you can fight players in distant areas. After the battle, the durability of your equipment will return to what it was before the battle. So it's honestly just 
for it's fun. Like, it's, yeah, it's like an online thing. Um, it's also online. I imagine we could fight each other, but to be honest, I don't want to because you'd just wreck me. Meh. Like, it wouldn't, I, I, even, it wouldn't even be fun. You'd just run up and wreck me, and that'd be the end of it. I feel like you could manage. <laughs> um, of note, as you go over here, you go, hey, no, 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 thing. But you can still go, like, boop, boop. And then that will probably send you right in to the hard mode dragon, which is going to be, like, level 6. Which is not what we're going to do. Also, we don't have the talismans. He's, like, so. level 65, we have no talismans. So we That Colosseum symbol was a guy with the chest with a sword through his heart. So, we... It's just a whole lot of very, very bad news. Um, we did, however, open the portal, which means uh, while we're out and about, the dragon's just going to come in and flatten the landscape. Oh, Too bad for them. See, now, if you go over here and look, it's the normal... The A path is 42. The yeah, lowest level if you go to the lowest one, 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 which is the harpy, is 40. 40. And then the highest level B path is... Right back there, the boss. The red so dragon 60. at 60. And keep so, in mind, we fought him at 33. Three-ish or thirty-two or something like that, and we were having trouble with yeah. that. Yeah, we were thirty-five, weren't we? Maybe we were thirty-four. No, we were, uh, we were we were like not capped yet. Maybe we like hit thirty-four after beating. I think we hit thirty-four after. Okay, and then the other thing that's been brought out. Actually, I want to. I just want to go. <gasps> Vomit. Yeah, is uh. The Labyrinth of Chaos. Now, it says target Wallace's Underground Labyrinth. It says that everywhere. That's the thing that uh, Queen Vivian told us to do, which is... Right there. You just passed So, it. like, if we go here, it'd do a thing. But uh, we're not gonna... As a send-off for this, we're gonna run through Wallace's... No, we're gonna run through the Labyrinth of Chaos. We're not gonna do all of that. Well, Wallace's bad idea. Labyrinth of Chaos. Wallace's Labyrinth of Chaos. The vines growing away does not feel, uh, fill me with... Yeah, people oh, haven't been in here for a while now. The Labyrinth of Chaos is nine floors. I remember reading that it was 99 floors, but then I, we checked the wiki and it said nine floors, so whatever. Um, however, the only the first three floors are unlocked after beating normal mode. To unlock floors four through six, we have to beat hard mode. And if unlocked, Which isn't going to happen for a really yeah. long time. And to unlock floor 7 through 9, you have to beat Inferno mode, which is like the hardest of the hard. Extreme mode. Dun, 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 it is kind of kicking, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 and, then, and then the chorus is just. Ah! Okay, so I figure, uh, since this is the new thing that was unlocked, and really the only new thing that is unlocked in hard mode, other than this, you're just kind of doing the same dungeons you have been, only harder, until you can get up and beat the dragon again. Yeah. So this is really the only the, the only new thing that's unlocked, so we're gonna run through floors one through three, uh, th run through the, thun through the, the <laughs> and, uh, see what happens. And this is definitely the kind of time when you want to start yeah, working you would at your bags yeah, a lot better. It would, it would really help if you had multiple bags in here, since you do get a chance to change bags between floors. Now, this is surprisingly <laughs> not... This is my fate. Fate sucks. Now, this is surprisingly not that hard. Oh, yes. Voila. Oh, somebody mentioned that, um... Actually, it does not matter if I'm the one that opens the chest. How? How is that connected to anything? There's an overpass. You see it's shadow here. It's like light over here and then it's shadow here. There's like something that goes over top right there. Uh -huh. Special for What the crap? Oh, these are the guys from the wall boss. You remember them? That ever fun... I don't want to. What the crap? Uh, it's because it's still it's clear an enemy. Well, go back up. We're busy. Okay, now, of note, aside from, like, us being kind of dumb there, uh, this is surprisingly not that hard. I mean, it's certainly not at the level of the... It's maybe level 35. It's certainly not on the level of... the level 40 A-path of the first dungeon. I don't know what I'm gonna... Mimic! Mimic! That is not what I wanted to do at all, but uh, I'll take it. 
I wanted to run up and cast magic, but instead, holy crap! Hold up, I got this. Who backstabs these days? Everyone. Oh. Hurt! Ugh. That was my front. But you were looking away. Ghost. Ghost. Hit him with the torch. Hit him with the torch. Hit him. I'll hit him with fire. There's, like, still a ghost over there. Hit him with something. I'm trying! The ghost kept moving. Oh, these are the guys! <laughs> That's so sad how he just dies in that. <laughs> just like, Egh. but at the same time, I don't care. Is that it? Yeah, he he's also it's sad, but he's also dead, so I don't care anymore. Oh, this boss. Okay, hold up before you go in. Um, a note about the Labyrinth of Chaos, which we did not mention, though I guess you could assume from here, it is a randomly generated dungeon. Um, each room that you go into is randomly selected from every room in all of the dungeons, and the enemies that appear in the patterns is also random. So you can run, you can run in like have a goblin, and then a pirate shows up right after him, and then a skeleton shows up right after him. Like everything in here is random. Now you go through three rooms, and then you fight a boss. So torch around here. Peace. Oh my god. I'm going to continue to kick the bee. <laughs> Until arrows just pop out everywhere. Oh no, I guess that's it and we don't have to worry about it. It's a short room. Oh, vampires. And then that takes us to our randomly selected boss, which is the vampires. Hey, we don't have to select the ladies. Or we don't have to save the ladies this time. Wow, that vampire went down like uh, a vampire. Oh, there's another one. Ow, what the crap? I'm trying! If you don't mind... Okay, I don't like poison. I'm gonna catch you on fire. Hope you don't mind. I think they mind. Well, too bad. I feel like vampires don't much care for it. You know one thing I'll never understand for vampire myths? What is with the rice thing? You know, I'm sure there's a reason somewhere. I feel like there's a reason. What happened to me? Oh, it died. I feel like there's this a reason, disarming. but this makes it makes no sense. Like, no matter what. Maybe I need to actually pay attention to the fight. Probably. This what the crap is that? What is this bat crap that you are doing? I don't know. <laughs> well, yes, but... Uh, you asked. I wanted to shoot her in the head, but she, like, sat upright. I wanted to crown her. Floor one one. Yeah, floor one one completed. Eb. Eb, 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 eb. Let us continue. Okay, now from here, if you can return to town, but these floors do not unlock. You actually, if you ever want to play floor two, you have to play four floor one, and then hit continue adventure. I imagine once we beat like the first three floors, we'll be able to select because otherwise, what's the point? Well, I I feel like of, like, since, show, like showing us the select. Well, thing. real quick, I think it was like that was one one, so I feel like there's three three floors to each area, so once we beat one three, we'll start to get up to actually floor two, and then maybe it'll unlock from the menu like that. Hmm. Let's continue anyway. Yeah, regardless, we're gonna have to continue. So. Well, I mean, we could go back. To town, maybe there's but... like no, maybe there's like nine floors per floor. It could be. And there's like nine, like nine rooms. What? Where are they that just tells from? me this is even huger. Holy crap! If there's like is that a frog, that is that was a frog. Well, what's what's nine times nine? Eighty-one. 
then how would he get 99? There'd have, I have no idea. There'd but have that's to like, be 11 somehow. That's like frightening, though. There'd have to be like 11 floors per level. What big old thing of... Oh my goodness. There'd have to be like 11 floors per area to make out 99 Yeah, I floors. feel like this is just going to be really long, though. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh no. Got an ambush by a scorpion. Just sitting here going like, Bo, Bo. Yeah, you bunch of weenies. Man's the goofy demon. It's rainy. Get him. Yeah, because that is actually disheartening if it's... Ooh. Mage, 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 mage. Tiger. Tiger. Quit lighting me on fire, I'm trying to hit a tiger. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Ah! Eat it, y'all. I'm catching up to you guys. Slowly but surely. Ah. How dare you. You know, I get the feeling, I was under the impression that, like, we would complete this one and that was once, and that was technically floor one. Yep. We just entered one two, though, right? Yeah, this is one two. And now I'm... I just flattened him, that was hilarious. It's like I dove at him and he, like, stepped out of the way and I just turned around and went, boop, and then he died. He didn't bounce or anything, he just went Pfft. I feel like <clears throat> the higher up you go on this is Medusa. Yes, it is. Does that mean we have to fight Medusa? Yes, it does! And one of us with our petrified stuff. Oh no, he killed my tiger. Quite handedly, too. Uh oh. Uh, do we get to leave? Like before? Actually, considering we beat her easily before, I feel like we didn't have too much trouble. Freaking snakes! Where am I on this plane? I gotta turn to stone again! I'm really bad at turning around for that. I'm also about to die. Man! I am so freaking bad oh, at that, it's oh, irritating. Oh. What the crap? I can't even hit her! Hit her! God dang it! Uh, yeah, I was having that trouble, too. Yeah, yeah, bring me back. Bring me back so I can actually hit her or something here. And I'm gonna turn to stone again. I'm, like, always in the middle of something. I don't have a chance to turn around. I'm gonna die again. And I'm turned to stone again. Why, of all things, we have to get bloody Medusa? Uh, can I move, or did we kill oh, her? Oh, we killed her. Okay. Like, did we really have to get Medusa? Holy crap. Our one mage is dead, so we get the chance to click it. When to click it. Okay, well, on to 1 3 then, and we'll see what happens. Hey. 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 I guess our bag look. Yeah, bag's looking all right, really. Yeah, we're fine where we are. Do we get our life points back? Because I've died twice. No, you don't. God dang it. Well, I'm a hair away from like game over. I think if I, as long as I press on you, you should be fine to be able to get up. I'm gonna not step near that. I uh, remember what I said about things being random? <laughs> yeah, very random. It's food, it's yours, guys. It's pretty good. 
I still have more than normal HP somehow. I still think he had some food before he went on. Whole lot of no enemies here. There we go. Oh, you're the nasty one, aren't you? Yeah, I don't think we've seen them yet. Okay, cool. Just, just to make sure. Okay, overall, as I was saying, um, these aren't like that difficult, just like frickin' Medusa. Um, I do imagine they get more difficult as it goes up, though. Oh! Alright. Oh yeah, these are the tough ones. Yeah, okay, yeah, things are getting more difficult. I like it when we had that dwarf last time, and I just kept throwing everything around. That was pretty awesome. I got a bomb. There's a door up ahead, I just want to keep it for it. Are they dead yet? No. They're only dead when they start dropping shit. Oh, he's dead already. Well, that's nice. Give me that. Give me that. Albert. Albert. A bunch of nice drops. Now he's the gladiator. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm all out of... I'm all out of, uh, fiery. I'm oh, all out of fiery goodness. Oil? Yeah. Oh, I got max food. What? This seems... familiar. <laughs> ah, zombie! Zombies are rude. I'll stop, them. I'll stop you with my foot in your face. Just stomp you into the ground. We're good to go yet? Oh, oh there, there we go. Okay. There's a scorpion there. That's what I forgot. Oh, okay. Ah, zombie. Ah, zombie came out. What? Zombie. Oh, I froze him. I didn't see that. I, ju I just saw this thing and just ran out here. Ah! Uh, uh, zombies! Everywhere! Zombies! Zombies! I don't know what my arrow count is, but I suppose we'll figure out next time I fire an arrow. Well, you could always stop, can't you? And I'll show up. Yeah, well, it'll show up if I just stop moving. No, I think it only shows up for like in battle or something. And eat that food. Eat all of it, because I'm hungry. Wah! Uh, it's the Hawkins. I think they're dragoons. Mimics! They think they're me. Mostly because they're mimics. All of these guys think they're something they're not. Catch on fire. Catch on fire. Burn. You're made of water, right? Something's gonna happen with you. That's how this works, right? Owl bears. Owl bears. Possibly on fire. It's like a hodgepodge of death over here. Just everybody wants us dead. Jump. 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 I'll take that. Jump. I don't need jump. Jump. Boss time? I think so. Red dragon is gonna be. Oh, Harpy. Thank God. Yeah, something that won't murder us. I fling fire at you. I fling sword at you. This torch is really not that useful. In this world. It still counts as fire. Even if I drop it? Like... No, if you drop it. Well, oh, if I if I drop it, it goes out, but then I, I can pick it up and it relights itself. Okay. Yeah. 
and it'll count as fire for you. I think as long as you're holding it, it overrides water. Yeah, but I'm also in water, so the fire is kind of ineffectual. Have a twist. Something else for enough time. Have a twist. Like me and the other, me and the other elf are just kind of over here going like kick, kick, kick. I lost my torch somewhere. That's okay, let's kill our Yeah, I don't think we can destroy that nest on the top, is what the... Oh, she grabbed me! You can always lure, like, lure her down from here and attack her. I'm just gonna kick her a whole bunch because I actually am out of, like, goo. Well, I suppose I can just air her over without her. Yeah, you lightning. How in the world a heart can cast lightning beyond me? Magic heart. Well. Ah, I thought I was the other elf. That's right, I'm racist against elves. You elfist. <laughs> well, I think it's just racist purely, but, you know. Elf yeah, because it is a race. Yeah, see, we broke it. We killed her without breaking the nest. Yay! Too bad we didn't accept the quest. Man, I'm gonna fuck her. Jesus. <laughs> You're already over there, and we're all over here, so, you know... <laughs> You're free to join in. I think CBS. well... CBS! Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, man. We have to take down this video now. You We've cleared, cleared floor one! All right. I think that's enough for us. Yeah, I think I'm going to return to town. Um, the later floors are pretty much the same thing. They get progressively more difficult as time goes on. That's all, re that's all we really wanted to accomplish was that. And now we could go in and Man, select look at floor that two. Strength. See, I was confused because I was thinking one one was technically floor one. Yeah. But you had to like. Oh wow. Oh wow, that one's already done for us. Oh yeah, that's the reward you get. Oh yeah. All right. Um. I give it a shot. That is a nice looking bow. Yeah, I'd keep that. Oh, uh, why not? Yeah. Why not? We're keeping that. Why uh, not? That, yes. Yeah. Why not? Why not? And so. Actually, let's go up to that pendant, the Egotist Chaos. Score plus 30%, damage taken plus 30%, gold obtained plus 30%, damage dealt minus 30%. So you're gonna get the crap beat out At of you. At low HP, speed plus 12, grants immunity to burning, grants immunity to petrification. So you're gonna get the absolute crap beat out of you, but, but you're gonna level up a lot faster. It doesn't even have a le oh, it has a level right there. I, I thought it didn't have a level for a second. So that'd be, like, really good if you were going to yeah, like, go to a lower level yeah, or something. For, for, That's a very good bee bag thing. Yep. Yeah. Take all spoils and sell them. What? <laughs> okay, so... Why do you keep hitting the wrong buttons? <laughs> okay, so with that done now, we can now go to floor two of that. We can go up to floor three before we have to beat hard mode. Um, I imagine floor two is going to be much harder than floor one was. Well, I imagine so. Yeah. Um, floor two is probably going to be around level 40 or 50. I probably would, somewhere. I would take a random guess. Somewhere in that level range. And then floor three is probably going to be like floor, like level 60. But, um, that's going to do it for Dragon's Crown. Pretty much, you've pretty much seen everything there is to see of the game. The only thing that, uh, we haven't really shown like, off. even the other ancient dragons are just, the ancient dragons just harder. Yeah. And probably with maybe some new stuff thrown in. Yeah, little new mechanic here. Not really a new mechanic, just kind of in a different way, I guess. A smarter AI, I think someone described probably. it as. So, really that's about it, though. You've seen pretty much everything there is to see. The only thing that I really would have liked to show off that we didn't show off is um, the various reward pictures for beating the quest. But to show off all of those, we'd have to blow through like all of hard mode and all of inferno mode. So And that ain't happening any time this century. Yeah. So we did say um, if we ever, if we're ever in the stream and mood and Ogre's over, then maybe we'll boot this up and stream some of it. Uh, somebody asked if the stream would then later be uploaded to YouTube. No, that would kind of defeat the purpose of streaming it in the first place. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that'll do it for Dragon's Crown. Fun game. Definitely should get it. 10 out of 10. Would eat again. It's just for old shits and giggles. Okay, so po-po. Sort of po.
Poo, poo, poo. A <laughs> um, whole oh, lot of don't amulets. Don't say anything about poo. I got a poo. What else did I get? I got the. I got a new thing, which is fire resistance, lightning retribution. I do like lightning retribution. I don't think your new glove's better than anything. No, it's not. And then let's check against all of these things. Okay, so 31, 30, 30, 28, 27, 27. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with any of them. There was one ahead of dexterity. 30, so that's int at low HP, damage dealt, don't really care. That's the one. Dex, HP, damage from traps, that sounds alright, I guess. Damage, immunity, poison. I, call it, I, call I it. like fire retribution. Huh? What's that one? I like fire retribution. I'm gonna go with that. If you do not mind, I am going to... Ah, do I want item drop rate up, or do I want to put the... Egotist's Chaos Pendant on my B-Bag. That's... Yeah, I think item drop rate is for what the enemies drop. Yeah. So it's not related to any of the other stuff. Okay, then. My turn. I, I gotta... I should B-Bag. That's a nice bow I have on my B-Bag. What the crap? <laughs> okay, so poo poo and mostly poo. Stop saying poo. Okay, so I what else do I have? Poo. I've got a mantle. That is better. Yes, it is better. And gloves. Uh, damage taken minus 10%. <laughs> That's four defense, though. It'll make the next upgrade easier. Alrighty. Uh, we leveled up. We have, like, one skill point to spend, but I'm not gonna bother. No. I think no. everything I care about takes, like, one. So we got that taken care of, um, bones to resurrect, which I'm not too concerned about. Really, I think this will do it. Finish checking up our gear here and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and call it. Yeah, for old time's sake. Mm, it's one defense, but I still have physical resistance plus 6%. So. Yeah, it's, it's... Well, actually, well, either one of them has that. Uh, in that case, yeah, I'd go with the... No, I, I'm the keeping magic. this. Yeah, yeah, I do like the magic retribution. Oh, that, there's that five uh, plus five HP, and I also get plus twelve percent damage to natural foes. Like twelve, per I don't give a crap about damage. Like damage to specific thing. Oh, that's the difference between you and me. Is you just don't give a crap. Like I don't care about that because, like, on the off chance we run against, run up against a human foe. It's gonna be bad. Like spread out evenly, it's gonna, like spread out, an as an average. It's going to be, like, damage done plus half a percent or something. Like, on, it's just going to be on the off chance of, Oh, man, a human! And you do, like, 380 damage instead of 340 damage. Like, fire retribution is... I like things that work always. And fire retribution is nice. Like, plus 5 HP I also don't really care much about because, like, we've got, like, 500 HP... 5 HP isn't really gonna save us. Except for that one time. <laughs> Except for that one time. It's funny because... Like, yeah. to save us. It's funny because, like, you think, like, ah, 5 HP when I've got 500? That's useless. But I can actually recount a good few times in which I have had, like, 1 HP left. Maybe not in this game, but just, like, across games in general, where, like, I'll just get hit super hard and look at my HP and go... Ooh. Just feel that sear along my backside. I think I remember one time in Final Fantasy XI where I got hit by something and I did legit have one HP left. <laughs> and I think even the healer was going like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All I guess right. we're done then. So. Right. Until next time, everyone. This has been Let's Play Dragon's Crown. 
Man, feel that stun. I'm gone. 